If you are like most people, after the year of 2020 and 2021, most families began to think about a different pace of life, and for many, that included a life of living on the water. What better place to consider than beautiful Lake Lanier? Lake Lanier is a 38,000 acre reservoir, and it's located about an hour north of Atlanta and spans throughout five different counties, primarily Gwinnett, Hall, and Forsyth counties in the foothills of the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. It's a huge tourist destination and we welcome almost 25 million visitors each year. My husband and I decided to make Lake Lanier our home almost seven years ago and we've loved every minute since. So what are the steps to buying a home on Lake Lanier and how do you make it happen? The first thing you will want to do is educate yourself about the different types of lake homes. It's an easy decision to decide to live on the lake. That's not the hard part. Deciding on what type of lake home you want is imperative. Do you want to live directly on the water? It's great having a dock right in your backyard and it's important to know that there are drastic differences in lake homes and how you get to that dock. Do you want an easy walk to the dock? Are you okay with steps? How many steps? How steep of steps? Are you okay with a trolley taking you down to the lake? I'm serious, we have some lots that you're so steep, you need a trolley to get down to your dock. Do you want a lake home with a great view? Who doesn't want a great view? And after you've done some research, you will find that having a great view and an easy walk to the dock doesn't always go hand in hand. Typically, these great views are found from being up high, which means a steep walk down to the dock. Or if you can get lucky to find a great view with a relatively easy walk to the dock, well, that's a pretty penny on Lake Lanier. In part because each lot typically has a buffer of land owned by the Army Corps of Engineers, which manages Lake Lanier. And you can't just cut down those trees to create a better view. Oh, and the docks that you see, they float on the lake. They are not stationary. And because of this, that creates some management that will need to take place throughout the year. So becoming educated about what your options are on the lake is imperative. Now, don't worry if this feels overwhelming. I've made a ton of videos educating you about all of these. Man, I wish I had this before we bought our lake home. Now, the next step in buying a home on the lake is becoming familiar with the different areas and establishing your budget. Now that you have a better understanding of lake homes after watching all of these great videos, you need to decide where you want to live on the lake. Each area of the lake comes with its own pros and cons and price tag. You'll find that living on the south end of the lake, closer to Buford, southern parts of Cumming, and Flowery Branch are going to be more expensive than the northernmost parts of the lake like Dawsonville, Murrayville, and North Hall. Less expensive may sound better, but you have to consider things like how long does it take to get to the grocery store and modern day conveniences like Starbucks and Target. And then you also have the distance from the marina for gas for your boat. Again, don't worry, I've got all of this covered and you guessed it, a video. In addition to ideal location, price is another factor and that will help you in narrow your search. Long gone are the days where you could buy a decent lake home for under 450,000. It's more like twice that. In fact, at the time of filming this video, the average sold price of homes on Lake Lanier over the past six months was 982,000. After becoming familiar with types of lake homes, researching areas, price points, and knowing more about docks, you should also take into consideration if living in a neighborhood on the lake is an option for you. After researching and considering your options, many people decide living directly on the lake isn't a necessity or in the cards for them for various reasons, whether it's due to budget or they just don't want to deal with managing a dock. Another great option is living in a neighborhood with lake access. So some neighborhoods have community access docks. These are community docks with day access. So you can't leave your boat there year round, but if you have your boat at a nearby marina, you can swing by to pick up the family, tie it up for a few hours, or even in some neighborhoods overnight. Some neighborhoods even have community docks that have dedicated boat slips for the homeowner. Now with these options, you can leave your boat there year round, just as you would if you had a personal dock. Some neighborhoods sell these slips separately and some have the slips included in your HOA. We have many great neighborhoods around Lake Lanier that offer this option. Some of the pros of this option is that you don't have to worry about managing the dock and 
the con is that obviously you aren't going to just walk out your back door and go down to the lake. It's more like a short golf cart ride through the neighborhood. Next, you are going to decide on the most important factors in your lake home. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. You can't have it all unless you have an unlimited budget. Everyone wants an easy walk to the dock with a great view, in a great location, with a renovated home, in a great neighborhood. You need to establish which of these is most important to you. And typically that only needs to be about two to three of those options, depending upon your budget. With lake homes, the location and depth of the water, the walk to the dock, then the house is going to determine the price. With traditional houses, it's the exact opposite. And for this reason, it's why it's so important to make sure that you're educated about the factors that go into lake home pricing. If the walk and home are most important to you and location can vary, or is it the location of the home and the move-in readiness of the home most important? Remember, you gotta pick like two. And if you have a large budget, consider three. And finally, the last step in buying a home on Lake Lanier is finding a really great knowledgeable agent. This is not the time to search on Zillow or get random recommendations from an acquaintance. You want to make sure that the agent you choose has a thorough understanding of all the things mentioned above in this video and one that can guide you through the process and beyond. In case it's not obvious, my team and I would love to be the agents of choice for you when buying a home on Lake Lanier. We're passionate about educating our clients and helping you make the very best decision for you and your family. So if you're considering buying on Lake Lanier, you have to check out all of these videos and the ones mentioned throughout to help you understand Lake Lanier better. And of course, my team and I are always here to help talk about the process and get a plan in place for you. You can find our contact information below, and I hope to see you out on the lake this year.